Artisan. ASMR. And, uh... And this is finally a game that I can use some of these other sounds a bit more. Um, if you've never played this game, like usual, I'll give little tips. For instance, um, one right off the bat is that you can press triangle to skip all the nonsense in this game which is very nice because it includes little things like that and um, keep us focused so in this game uh, I'm using like an Xbox style controller so it'll be a little off for me um, and it's still that same controller from my other videos uh, so it does give me kind of a hard time with this. It, I switch back and forth between the um, D-pad and the actual whatever you guys call them, toggle or whatever. Because um, it still does get kind of stuck. But I tested it out like here. It's better to use the... Um, nice. This is basically another platforming game. Uh, I've also played, oh boy, this a million times. Um, doesn't mean I won't die a bunch though. And I really like this game once you get run. Because if you didn't notice from the Mario playthrough, I'm kind of a rusher when it comes to platformers, but I also still have my sort of completionist needs <laughs> um, from my RPG playing. So yeah, this game is perfect for me. So is Super Mario World because it's got, they both have that sort of completionist vibe. Like in Super Mario World, they have so many secrets and stuff. Um, and in this game, it's definitely, if you didn't know, Crash Bandicoots are made for completionist types because uh, it's built into the game. If you haven't noticed, I'm actually trying to get all of these boxes so far. Your main goal, if you just want to beat the game, is to get all those crystals. Um, but yeah, by getting all the boxes, I should get a gem at the end. And there's a lot of secret gems, too. Um, and normally I wait to do the um, relics, which is that blue thing up there. Uh, you can also get that sapphire, you can also get gold and then platinum. Uh, of course to get, and you can even skip that dumb dancing with triangle. But yeah, once you get run, it's just more about trying to get these relics and really just um, memorize all these levels in a playful way uh, to where you're just trying to rush through. So like you see here, this is going to keep a time trial. And last night, I was able to get the sapphire without a run. Um, but I was pretty close. And as I... PlayStation 1 games on here. Um, I'll get to know the controller better of whether it's the, you know, the D-pad that I mentioned or, or this that's better. And you do get slowed down by spinning and stuff, so you really have to kind of choose what you really need. Um, and the water does slightly slow you down. Whoa, he tripped me. I feel like ever since I've started doing these um, gaming videos, I keep doing 
sounds like Big Bum 53, if you've heard of her. Uh, she did a lot of ear cleaning videos that I liked way back when I first got into ASMR. And she'd always say things like, you don't have to worry too much about that. And she'd also say things like, um, well, whatever it was that I just said. So I just keep noticing myself accidentally saying things that she used to say. And then one other thing I wanted to mention um, was that if enough people respond, I am open to, uh, on most of my playthroughs, actually having my webcam visible so you can see me during it. Uh, some comments are saying they don't like the playthroughs as much because um, they can't actually sort of see me in the ASMR happening, uh, which I do get, because that's a part of the ASMR is the visual, you know, and there's probably nothing relaxing <laughs> about these visuals except for people who have uh, played this all their life, of course. And I will note that you don't always have to press X to get momentum. Sometimes it's better just to press the direction that you need to go. So last night I did not get the gem, so we'll see if I can manage to today. Um, I think I just want to, oh boy, I think I just want to get to... the. the the first tiger level today um, again I have some people coming over and uh, I have a lot I want to do tonight since I have a busy weekend ahead we're doing bowling with the family tomorrow which is kind of ironic because I bowled with my students today and uh so X doesn't, it no longer uh, kind of thrusts you with this machine. You actually are just sort of constantly going forward. Oh, no. And you really want to avoid those sharks. <laughs> because, and now I'm not going to get the, the all the boxes. Because uh, you need to get rid of that red plant back there to get that box. And you can only destroy the the red plants with the little submarine thingy mabobber. So at least that means the rest of the level I don't really have to fret about getting all the boxes since I already screwed it up. So let's just fly through and ignore all those for now. See what I mean? And what it was last night was I got hit somewhere coming up here. And I kind of just recommend just shooting all the time. You have unlimited. And as you see, there actually was supposed to be a bad guy there. That was probably what killed me in the past. Yeah, yesterday. And so yesterday I got here and it was 91 out of 92. <laughs> dog right when I'm on my last level good perfect timing so I hope you don't mind that there'll be a little background noise while we finish this up so on this you do jump but it'll constantly have forward momentum I think you can speed it up by pressing up I, I think that's just me sort of deceiving myself but it seems to be true the real way to pick up speed is like there by press pressing and holding box or I think R1 yeah R1 um, but for the most part you should have enough speed at least for this first one because we're just trying to get all the boxes and uh, just the crystal when we do the relic what's kind of fun about this oh no I missed the box it's kind of fun about this level 
is technically I could already get the platinum since we already have our run feature that's what that is uh, this level is I think it's this one or it's one of the later dragon ones that's so hard you're supposed to do it in like 17 seconds or something um, and you have to get all these boxes that take away some of your time and stuff so not bad for a first run but definitely since I had already missed that one box I didn't try too hard for the other um, so yeah, as long as you guys don't mind the dog too much I'm gonna try that again to see if I can get all the boxes but I won't try more than that just so we can wrap it up uh -oh. oh that didn't look good I wonder if that picked up on your screen that blue screen okay let's try that again this time I'm primarily focused on getting all the boxes and then maybe I'll do a, a run through just to get that relic just so there's some you know, closure. Cl cl closure. K -k -k -k. Sometimes it's actually hard to avoid the little watch that starts the time trial. But we don't need a time trial now, so I need to slow my horses. What we need is a strategy, <laughs> and uh, one of the big challenges is sort of being at the right the word like here you need to not go too far right or left or else you won't have enough time to get to the other side without running and running makes this more difficult uh, at least while we're not trying to get a relic you'll notice that when we do the relic a lot of times um, the one box that I won't see like that there you have to really lean far and here you have to jump oh I was just gonna say you gotta jump early enough and I didn't uh, because when you do the time trial you gotta get all those boxes so we already screwed this up but instead of wasting a life I'll go ahead and vaguely try to finish it for fun in a fast paced way I'm gonna run into the oh no okay <laughs> that was wild okay no luck try that again usually it does not come up with that screen <laughs> uh, hopefully that's just from me recording um, and I thought once you beat it it lets you keep retrying I think that's only if you got the clock for the um, time trial it'll actually just let you keep retrying from the start so I'm only going to try this one time because I can tell it's starting to be that that part of the night that you know my neighbors and everything get a bit louder uh, and it shouldn't be too hard to get oh, at least just that sapphire real quick so we'll see though I have not played any of these games I've been playing with you guys uh, in years so a lot of my conjectures are definitely just conjectures whoa so I'm just pressing and holding box almost like the whole time except here of course now this time is when I get it when I don't when I'm not trying to get the all boxes gem oh boy Some fast paced business yeah, and you want to jump over that whole situation but not here oh no because there's a three second box down there oh and I missed that too well, I definitely got the sapphire though I think Let's see. So, I'm sure I got something. Yeah, so just the sapphire. But that's pretty crazy because you saw how I flew through there, and that's just for the most basic. Um, most basic relic. So, I bet for the gold, let's see what the time is for gold. So the only levels remaining uh, is this one that's got the dinosaurs and then this one that always kind of drove me nuts a little bit. Uh, and then you fight a boss at the end of each world. 
and to save you just approach this sometimes it's goofy kind of gives you a hard hard time um, but I'll make a new I'll make a new file so that I remember which one it is okay well I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, sleep tight